this going to be a new thing for you? Um, Suits every day for the uh, reviews? I have to. For the reviews? Because it's what uh, you're wearing anyway. Because that... Uh, this unless is what I wore to work. Unless we review on a weekend. Yeah. This, this is, is what I wore to work. Yeah. I actually have to wear this to work. I wear this to work. This is what... I, I don't have to wear this to work. I choose. Yeah. So, same same with me. I could wear what he wears to work, but I don't want the work... I don't want the job I have. I want the job I want. Yeah, and you yeah, know what? Yeah, but I thought you had to wear a suit for work. I kind of do. Everyone else at my work? It's like that. Exactly. So the, the thing with me is, it's it's when I have to meet with like you know yeah. a, a lion or Bell or yeah you want to look or, bad. no no or um, what's it called uh, JDI or anything like that I actually have to wear a suit right and then I then I can de suit but I could go from suit to dress shirt like you know to dress shirt like what what uh, Max has, right? Golf I could do that. Golf shirt. Yeah, I could wear a golf shirt, but I actually meet with, you know, higher-ups and, and directors yeah, and stuff, mm -hmm. so I have to kind of wear the, the, the yeah, clothing see, of it. my manager wears that. Wow, where are you? Yeah, and, and my manager wears what you're wearing, right? But he has a, he has a jacket and a tie in his in his in yeah, his uh, two thirds desk. of the time I'm wearing a tie. Yeah. All right. All right. Can we do the review now. All right. We can we can we can go from snazzy dress to the beer. I've decided what I'm being for Halloween. Halloween. Halloween? What are you being for Halloween? Oh, you'll think it's awesome when I do it. All right. Do you know what I'm gonna be for Halloween? You'll you'll love it when I do it. You know what I'm gonna be for Halloween? I don't fucking know yet. You're gonna be Mario. <laughs> what do you mean, Mario? <laughs> You're gonna be fucking Mario. You're gonna be Luigi. If I'm gonna be Luigi, just get a different hat. Just get a different hat. All right. Yeah, but I'm not as tall as Luigi. Yeah, Luigi's tall as. Yeah, that's right. right. Tall, lanky. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We've got the Sith. We've got the Fuzz. We're at the Fuzz's round tables, and we've got the ladies in the background here. We've got a beer that is surely enough going to be right up a Fuzz's alley. This Fuzz is, is gonna love this. The perfect beer to do for uh, review number six six six. And this really is, that, a, is it really six six six? Yeah. Well, I think it's. Are we that? Are we that? Oh, I'm almost there now. <laughs> Did I mean, you I see what was? Six sixty a couple days ago, like yesterday. Wow. So Dude. this is How Sounds. This is another beer from How Sounds. This is a Devil's El Elbow IPA. <laughs> And this is a beer that'll Sorry, surely. Swear. This is a beer that surely I'll like because it's a well-balanced English-style IPA with a smooth, citrusy hop finish. Summer Slam! Fuck. <laughs> Brewed with barley, hops, water, and yeast. Yeah, every other beer is too. So yeah, English-style IPA. I'm really excited when I see that because I'm not a big, big fan of English-style hops. Yeah, well, okay. either in an IPA. And yeah, no, I know you're not. You're not a not fan of IPAs anyway, although you've had a couple that surprised you. Like it's that uh, like that one we had earlier from Maine Beer. Yeah, that was good. Mm. Uh, so, it says, Devil's, Devil's Elbow is named for a dramatic grade 4 Devil's Elbow rapid on the on the Elaho River, north of Squamish, B.C. Oh, it's uh, a is, Canadian beer. Yeah, this is brewed in, uh, in B.C., Squamish, B.C. Let's pop the top off of this one. And Again, I want to point out the there's a cap on it, but... Hey, it's got a, a, a stopper. A stopper. Mm. Very cool. Very awesome. Here. Make sure you get a lot of it. Because you see, you. When, I, when, when I visit uh, the G off, there's a bubble. Bottles like this will come in handy for me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, actually, it probably would. <laughs> oh, I guarantee Well, how many of these have you tried guess, this one yet, Jeff? Guess what? A Sith? I, I'm not sure if I, I either I've tried it or it's in my fridge. Guess what? I cannot visit the Geoff anymore. No, because your work won't send you down there. Because my work will never send me down to the Geoff. That's unfortunate. I'm... My work will never send me down to the Geoff. Geoff will come up. No, I understand that, but... If he wasn't so tired on Saturday, he would have come That's fine, but I mean, the, the I, I'd like to see the Geoff <laughs> half the time in the city he lives in and half the time that I live in. But I can no longer see the Geoff in the city he lives in. We'll have to travel. All right. Specifically to see him. 
You know, looking at that, that looks like your standard IPA thoroughfare. It's got a one finger ahead. Yours what? is more. <laughs> yours is like you know. Well, that, that's, because I, that's because I poured it so aggressively and I kept trolling you with it. <laughs> you definitely troll. <laughs> it looks good. I gotta give give it that. It looks like a really nice IPA. Yep. Uh, decent lacing. Yep, decent lacing. Uh, I can't that amber, lacing. That amber orange. Not appearance. not so clear, but you know enough to be dangerous. And you know what? Definitely. If you look through it, you see it's, it's definitely not unfiltered. It's, it's definitely it's unfiltered. Unfiltered. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely unfiltered. So it looks nice. Give looks very nice. You know what? For an IPA, not offensive. Not offensive in the smell. Not offensive yet. No, no. It's got I, that kind of lightly earthy smell that makes me think there's a lot of earthy hops. In there. <laughs> it's deceptive. It's oh, deceptive. there it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, devil's elbow. Yep. Uh, grapefruit. Big grapefruit smell. I'm not getting a huge grapefruit smell. I'm, I'm, get, getting, I'm getting like that and a little bit of sweet malt, but uh, mostly this dusty, earthy kind of smell. I can't smell anything through this. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit there. You do get more of a citrus in yours. It must be in the. Uh, it must be in the bubbles. Yeah. Down the hatch. Mm. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, there you go. Uh, Ooh, that's earthy. Uh, you know who would like this? Lee. Lee would really love this. Harlock? El Harlock, yeah, because he loves the traditional English IPA op, like uh, the, the like, earthy English. Uh, very, IPAs. very earthy. Yes. Super earthy. Mm -hmm. That's his big uh, hop quotient is that, that earthy hops that come What's the ABV on this? Uh, six, I think. So pretty high. Say. Six. Yeah. Six. What's the uh, IBV, I, IBUs? Uh, sixty-eight. So. So it's pretty strong for an IPA, but it's it's not it's not like commandingly earthy. You get other hops and just earth. Yeah. No. It, for, for the for the you know for the non IPA in me, it's not too offensive. You can still taste the earthiness in it. You can still have that back of the tongue. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's all it's obvious they use something like East Cat Goldings or something like Fuggles are in there as hops, but they use other stuff in there. There's like there's light grapefruit notes, there's light pine notes, but they're not it's not <laughs> a lot there. It's 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 mostly they use other stuff, but like it, for sixty eight IBUs, it's they they definitely did not use all earthy hops. No. But I mean there's a lot there and that's what the dominant flavor is. It's just it's a nice blend of that. There's something sugary in there. Mm. A little bit of like a, a sweet malt of some sort, like a like, light caramel. Like or... Just like take a sip and just let it sit in your mouth mm. for a minute. I did that and it's not too bad. No, it's it it's probably one of the the more enjoyable ones just to let it sit there. There's a nice sweetness to it, I find, when you Unfortunately, like it has, it has, it, it, it's sweetness up front, it still has that pine in the back. Yeah, it definitely has the, the pine and earth in the back, but I find that there's something in there, there's some hop in there. I, I don't know them all like he does. Oh, jeez, I don't know. And I definitely don't know them all like my brother-in-law does. But uh, oh, there's something there, it's just a nice. All right, well, so what do you give it for a score? I can give this a solid three. Three? I can give that a solid three. I would give that a three and a half. What do you think? Well... Uh, so get your calculator out. Well, I calculated at about a 1.75. So we get the we get the fuzz abacus out, and we find that this is 0.25, this is 0.5, this is a one, and this is a 1.5 right there. Uh, actually, uh, I think that's 1.5. Considering yeah. Oh, I, I said I said 1.75. That's 1.75, right? Yeah. So yeah, I said 1.75. So if this is a 1.75, and we I, and I, I, entire, it's like if you were to use this, that would be the entire 2.5, right? Yeah, that's because you go from 2.5 and, and start from there, so it'd be like one, two, three. Right. And by if you were to actually so like this beer, you would do this. But I mean. That's not bad for an IPA for you. No, no. So this is a 1.75. Yeah. Right. So we double that. So a 1.75 and no a 1.75. So we're looking at a what? 350. A 3.5. Yeah. 
So do you give it 1.75 or 3.5? No, I give it a 1.75. Alright, there you go. <laughs> I think people who really like traditional IPAs with the English style hops or English style hopped IPAs are going to like this one. It, it is perhaps a, 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 what did you quite think? a bit, three and a half. It's quite a bit more hopped than you would expect from like an English style IPA, but it's not bad. It's it definitely got that same hop profile and it's really not bad. I mean, it's, it's definitely on the, the strong side of things, but would I drink this again? If I really wanted to drink an English style IPA, then yeah, I would consider that. I could see myself drinking that an entire night. Uh, one, maybe, one, maybe not one tonight. Whole night. No, no, for the whole, whole night. night. Yeah, not yeah, not yeah. just all at once. I honestly don't think I could sit down and drink an entire bottle of that in one night. Yeah. I don't. It's one liter, right? It's yeah. not bad. It's a liter worth of beer. And I think at, at 5%. that's probably my highest rated for the, uh, for the house sounds. Although I think I gave Cloudburst around the same. Anyway. King Heffy. Yeah, I heard that King Heffy is like mouthful. King Heffy is very, very tasty, but it's you, like mouthful. I can only drink half of a King Heffy because I found it too much boozy. All right. Wow. All right. So I'm good. So that's that's what we thought of uh, Devil's Elbow IPA from House Sound. Thanks for watching. Summer Slayer. Thank you for watching. We will talk to you folks later. Cheers.